Hi, in this video, I'll give you some creative examples of agenda slides in PowerPoint. I am Ram Gopal from Prezotraining.com, a site that provides creative presentation ideas for trainers. An agenda slide is part of pretty much every training presentation. A typical agenda slide shows how the day's program is divided into multiple sections and then the trainer takes the participants through each of the sections explaining what is going to be covered in each of the sections. I'm going to show you some creative alternatives of how you can organize your program and how you can present your agenda in a creative way. Let us take the first example. Instead of organizing your program as multiple sections, you can organize it as answers to multiple questions. For example, in this case, we have got six questions agenda. And of course, you can write each of the questions here. And when you organize your training session like this, it is far more interesting and engaging because audience is naturally curious to know answers to questions. Let's go to the next example. Let us say you have a process training to conduct. It is always a good idea to give a big picture view of the entire process map and then organize your sessions as parts of the process map. That way you can use this slide to orient your audience to the big picture view periodically as you dive into the micro details. Let's go to the next example. Let us say you want to make a technical presentation, that is the demonstration of a product. It's a good idea to give the big picture view of your machine and then organize your various sessions as parts of the machine. For example, you can say that in the first session we will talk about this part of the machine, in the second session we will talk about this part, third, fourth, fifth and so on. That way your entire presentation will have one overarching theme and your audience will always stay in context. And now the final example. Let's say you have a short one hour training program to conduct. It's a good idea to organize the various segments of your training presentation as various segments of a one hour slot. For example, you can say that the first 10 minutes of the program is going to be about storyboarding. Then we move on to idea visualization and then we move on to slide design and so on. When you use the image of a clock, your audience gets a clear idea of how the next one hour is going to look like. I hope you got some interesting and creative ideas on how to present your agenda slides in different ways. If you want to learn more creative ways to use PowerPoint in your training presentations, then I highly recommend you take a look at our Ram Gopal's PowerPoint Mastery Program. It is arguably the most comprehensive PowerPoint training online. There is no other book or course that teaches the kind of advanced tips, tricks and techniques that I teach you in Ram Gopal's PowerPoint Mastery program. If you want to learn more about the program, you can click on this No More button. I'll also leave a link to the course in the description area below this video. Before we close, just one more thing. Do you want to know how to make your training slides creative and interesting even if your topic is dry and boring? Then sign up for a fun 7-day email course that shows you how. It's a totally free course and if you are a trainer or a course creator, it's a course that you can't miss. I'll see you on the inside.